the installation video of the Kurt 56160 custom vehicle to trailer wiring harness on the 2008 Lincoln MKX. We estimate this installation to take 30 minutes to one hour, depending on your level of expertise. These are the tools necessary for the install. Begin by opening the rear hatch, followed by disconnecting the negative battery cable to ensure your safety and the safety of your vehicle's electrical system. On the driver's side, remove two fasteners on the taillight assembly. Carefully remove the taillight assembly. Repeat this process on the passenger side. Continue by routing the four flat connector down through an opening on the driver's side taillight area to underneath the vehicle. Also, route the included black power wire down through the same opening. From underneath the vehicle, pull the harness and the power wire down so they may be routed later. Remove fasteners located on the bumper fascia along the hatch seal. Be careful not to damage any fasteners as they will be reinstalled later. Now that the bumper fascia is loose, carefully pull back on it and route the wiring harness with the green wire from the driver to the passenger side. Tuck the green wire behind the fascia. On the passenger side, locate the taillight wiring harness connector on the taillight housing. Separate the wiring harness connector from the taillight housing connector. Be careful not to damage the locking tabs. Insert the current wire harness connectors in between the taillight housing and the taillight wiring harness. Make sure all locking tabs are in place. Repeat this process on the driver's side. Prepare the black power wire to be connected to the power wire of the black converter box. Strip the end of the power wire and twist the exposed wire. Place an included yellow butt connector over the wire. Crimp the butt connector to the power wire, making sure you have a solid connection. Insert the black power wire from the black converter box into the butt connector and crimp the section together, making sure a strong connection has been made. Locate a suitable mounting location for the white ground wire. Be conscious of good metal to metal contact and use a drill to make a pilot hole for the included self tapping screw. Make sure you know what you're drilling into. Place the eyelet of the white ground wire over the self tapping screw and fasten to your chosen location. Locate a suitable mounting location for the black converter box. We recommend a clean, flat surface protected from road debris. We have chosen a location behind the taillight assembly. Use the included double-sided tape and adhere the converter box to your chosen location. Reinstall the fasteners for the taillight assemblies. Place the removed fasteners from the bumper fascia. Continue by routing the black power wire from underneath the vehicle towards the engine. Be sure to route away from moving parts and excessive heat sources. We are routing along the brake and fuel lines. Once you have reached the battery, trim any excess from the power wire. Strip the trimmed end of the power wire, twisting the exposed wire. 
Hook up a yellow butt connector to the power wire. Insert a pre-stripped end of the red inline fuse wire into the butt connector and crimp them together. Place a yellow eyelet over the opposite end of the red inline fuse wire and crimp them together. Make sure a strong splice has been made. Move the accessory nut on the positive battery post. Place the yellow eyelet over the accessory post and refasten the accessory nut. Insert the included red 10 amp fuse into the red inline fuse holder and secure the cap. Reconnect the negative battery cable. Be sure to test your new wiring harness with an electrical tester or a properly wired trailer. This completes the installation of the Curt 56160 custom vehicle to trailer wiring harness on the 2008 Lincoln MKX. Thank you for watching this video. Now you have the power to bring it. Curt, the first name in towing products.